guys I'm Tainit welcome and welcome back to my channel so today I'm going to show you how to do the individual crochet and this is the hair I'm using I have the water wave three pack of Ruwa and this is the love Tress. these are gypsy butterfly locks 24 inch and I think I got two packs of the butterfly locks and look at this little cute Chanel sleep thing y'all bonnet it was cute I had to show you but what we're going to do first is make sure your client or whoever hair you're doing is blow dried. It doesn't have to be super straight or anything like that. We're not doing any kind of specific style that needs it to be super straight. So just blow dry enough so you can get through it. And before we start, go ahead and subscribe, like, and as you watch it, leave me a comment and let me know what you think. And let me know if there's anything else you want me to show you doing as well. So, after I have it all blow dried, I'm going to go ahead and start sectioning the hair so that I can start doing the locks. And these are kind of going to be like large locks, so I am going to be parting a little bit big, but really not too big. It's kind of like medium large, I guess, but you'll see. Now y'all, this is my favorite jam, the shining jam in the orange container. To me, that's the best one, better than the red and better than, um, I think, the light orange. And everybody be spending all that money on the red one, the magic fingers. But, baby, this dark orange one, it do the job. But, anyway, you put the um, product on the part and then you just go over it. This just helps with precision parting so it looks nice and neat. And I will be talking through some of the parts and other parts. I will just let y'all watch, okay? now this is the butterfly lock as you can see it has a really small hole most of the time the hole is kind of too small and this is what the butterfly piece looks like so I usually just open up that little piece a little bit more that way I'll be able to pull the lock through and do everything I need to do and as you can see that's what it's going to look like Now doing these is pretty easy as long as you know how to plait. It does not have to be a tight plait at all. Just all you can do is plait, okay? Because once we wrap everything around, it'll get tight on the roof. Now I braid down just a little bit. I'm going to put my hook through the um, lock. And you see it's three pieces right of the braid. On one strand, all you need is one strand, you're going to attach the butterfly lock as you can see it's on one strand right and then I just take the butterfly lock and move it out the way like put over the shoulder like I kind of did that <laughs> and just continue braiding down so you just braiding it down to secure the butterfly lock onto the braid and so it's gonna look like that the braid is there the lock is attached so it's not going nowhere at all okay like that um that girl who um did her up on the tail it ain't going nowhere <laughs> but anyway I'm gonna show y'all a couple times I'm just plaiting it like so and then at a certain point I just stop kind of towards the top and if you want your locks longer you can add it on a little bit longer down on the plait or you can add it kind of towards the top it's just up to you and then take one strand you attach it with the crochet needle move the um, butterfly lock out the way and you just continue braiding your plait down as if the butterfly lock is not even there okay so this is how they all should look and you don't have to plait all the way down to the ends it's okay to leave some of her ends unbraided as you saw some of hers were unbraided and then y'all can just look at this one i probably ain't gonna do too much talking but three strands that's how you plait you use three strands you can go underhand you can go over whatever you gotta do to get the plait done okay stop at a certain point on one strand you're going to attach the lock on one strand and then you're gonna continue braiding the hair down Is there any room for me? I would have to hold my breath till you get down on my knees. 
Right here as you can see I'm kind of grabbing that piece with the lock on it I'm like I was holding my fingers there if y'all saw that you might have to rewind it a little bit that way the piece don't be trying to slip all around and you can continue to make sure the braid is tight okay and then you just do the same thing I just did on the whole head until you have everything parted off in whatever way you're trying to part it I did leave hair out for a baby hair for her and um, yeah, this is how everything should look until you're done with the whole hair. And then you get ready to start wrapping. So now take your Water Wave Rua. You can get any brand of Water Wave. Really, you can almost get any brand of curly hair that you want it just depends on how you want your locks to look but I did get this water rate wave and then I did break up the pieces to loosen them up more I didn't want those tight pieces so it should look like what I just showed you once you loosen it up then at the root you're going to put your crochet needle in grab onto the water wave piece and just pull one strand through so it should look like that it should be able to go back and forth through. Then I always pull the hair. One side is going to be longer than the other side of this water wave hair. The side that is shortest, I only pull the hair as long as the person's hair. If you get what I'm saying, you're going to see more examples in a minute. And then as I wrap, when I first started, I wrapped it around about three times and then I kind of start going down further more and it's not as loose and I stick my finger there and I pull out little pieces because I'm trying to make it more butterfly than the actual lock was and I'll show you guys the difference in the lock as it comes out the pack and then the lock that I actually do so you'll see that in just a second And after I finish wrapping it, I always rub it together with my hands. It just makes everything blend together seamlessly so that this will never come loose. And as I was saying, this is the two different locks. The one that came straight out the pack and then the one that I did. I wanted mine to look messier than that one and have a couple more loops and stuff. So that's what it did. And then once again, I'm pulling the water wave hair through. As you're going to see, one piece is shorter, one piece is longer. You can see that, see that? And so the short piece, I'm going to grab it all in my hand together with the braid and the lock that's attached to the braid like that. The only thing that should be separate is the long piece of water wave hair. And then you wrap it around. I wrap it around the root three times tight, like I was saying. And after those three times tight at the root, then I'm going to start loosening up my grip 
I'm going to stick my thumb in, take a couple pieces, a couple strands off of the hair, pull it out, and then it's going to give it that butterfly effect. And I do want to say a lot of people ask how does it stay, you know, twisted or stuff like that. But if you just continue wrap it all the way till you can't wrap it no more, rub it together with your hands. I'm telling you, it like melts together. It's not going to come loose at all. Isn't all I need. Give me God. Because everything I am, I'm So guys, that is basically how you do the style. So all you do now is just make sure every piece is wrapped and that's the style. And y'all are gonna see in a few minutes that I did add curly pieces to some of the locks. I just went in and picked random locks to add curly pieces to and I did add like some curly pieces to the bang pieces just to get a style some more pizzazz some old pop you know but yeah stay tuned for that and i'll show y'all how i did the curly pizzas too Dropping up the mess, drop it in the water, let the daughter find an image with the rest. She'll be learning how to breathe, spinning through identity, reveal another pretty little scheme. Save her mind, hold her hand, and don't believe a lie, you understand me. Walk her down the valley, pack a piece of heaven for the bottoms of her feet. Teach her how to jump and how to stretch when she reach Like the angels do and you gon' make it through now Tell about the healer Greater is the one within and call him as the leader Teach her how to hold a pretty hand up to the sky And I'ma wait up on the giver He'll deliver like a dealer Take her higher So guys, I just took the crochet needle and grabbed the curly piece and pulled it through. And then with one side still looped, I just did it just like you do a crochet piece. So I pulled the curly hair through the loop. 
my hand is all in the way y'all y'all can barely see but i pulled it through the loop twice to make it a double knot or you can just tie it into a double knot and then i did use the super glue i just put a little super glue right at the little knot that it made and then if it was any excess like straight pieces um i cut those off like you can kind of see a straight piece in the front i just cut that piece off and this is the final result so these are long and hope y'all like it hope y'all learned something and leave me some comments thanks for watching bye never been a product of a flawless environment